right, guys, we're going to go down into this little uh, hole and see, see if we can find anything interesting to look at. Who knows? Probably not. But you never know. You never know. And honestly, I don't know if I can even find, find villages the way it's been going here. Because, I mean, this land I've been seeing, I think they only show up in certain, uh, certain uh, areas, certain types of land. And uh, thus far, it has not been the most conducive thing to uh, finding them. I'm just gonna break these. All right, so if now we're down here, and you see there's levels to each one, but I'm just interested in seeing what's at the bottom. Just the off chance we find something. And actually, there's gonna be nothing to it because yeah, it gets cut off by the the massive chunk air. So this was a waste of time. Other than I can grab a little bit of iron while I'm down here. Cause you can never have enough iron, honestly. I'm not. I'm not even being ironic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. Just terrible, guys. Why exactly do you let me tell these jokes? I'm sure there's a reason you do it, but I'll be damned if I know what it is. I hear zombies. Oh. Alright, well, let's just swim. Come on. Come on. Swimming is short. I guess because I disrupted the rocks, some of the water reacted. Well, we can swim our way up top, and I guess we can go explore the new chunks that are generated off of the old ones here, and everything's all messed up. It's like I'm swimming to the sun. Swim, 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 swim. Make it all the way to the sun. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's see what's up here. Now, I haven't seen any examples of the smarter AI that's supposed to exist. Is this an ocean? It might lead to an ocean. Well, let's just walk around the side here and see if this is indeed an ocean. I don't think I've ever seen an ocean in these games. Oceans are just basically massive swabs of water with like a few islands dotting on them. Not the most exciting thing in the game. Yeah, this looks like an ocean, alright. There's a coral reef out there. Well, it would be a coral reef. Lots of clay. There's like a little island right there, I guess. No, that's actually probably the rest of that snow area. Oh, well, let's turn around. We're not going into the ocean. Unless, of course, our uh, stronghold's underneath the ocean. If that's the case, that is going to suck. Because if it's in the ocean, we are going to have to explore like crazy mamby pambies. Cut that out. We don't need you spreading your filthy ocean water. Yeah, no, we don't need them spreading filthy ocean water at all. Lots of squids out here. Holy God. Now, squids are randomly generating, I believe. Although, I think they might have changed how they spawn. I think they used to be able to spawn in any sort of water. I think they've got to be in a certain depth now to actually show up. So, if I ever want those ink sacks, I can go murderizing on them. Man, the underwater generation's gotten a lot more interesting in time. There are more chunk airs. My goodness. Just chunk airs aplenty. It's like a jagged skein across my world here. Not cool, game. Not cool. Alright, alright, and there's just a little island for no reason. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, people have made this comment, and I sort of agree with them. Looking at um, some older videos of mine and some of my world, the world generation used to be a lot simpler than it is now, but in a way it's almost kind of more uh, more inviting. I don't know, I find that I found the old uh, style just kind of interesting how it used to work. This is an interesting cave right here. It is ultimately leading to nothing, but I was just curious. Sometimes just a little hole like that is what leads you into a mammoth cave system. And if I was to do that, I'd have to set up a base over here because it's too far for me to wander, especially with all these chunk air problems that have been popping up here, making me angry. I should probably keep my sword on in case, just in case a creeper comes wandering around. See, is that another chunk air one, or is that just a weird... No, that's got to be a chunk air. That's just too strange for words. Hey, there's an arrow pointing down. Well, this must be where it is. Huh. Just in case, I'm going to throw a torch right here, because we'll know now. Nah, it's a chunk air. <laughs> Good lord, another chunk air. This is brutal. you got to stop doing this to me. But like I was saying, you look at like the, sw the rolling hills and just the design of the place. It was it was just a different style of world completely, and it, it had this quaintness to it. Despite the lack of variety, you can still get some pretty amazing looking uh, structure, uh, natural structures set up for you. Sheep? Sheep. How dare you eat stuff, sheep? 
Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a find a, a mushroom. Uh, uh, the mushroom biome. I doubt it. I hear they're incredibly rare to find, and they're kind of scary. But you never know. We can do some poking around, see if we can find one. I know, I know. There's mods and stuff available where you can uh, you can actually uh, force them to appear and stuff. But eh, where's the fun in that? It, oh, this is pretty big. This is a pretty big hole, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want to look right at the sky. I said we don't want to look... Why am I getting such an oversensitive movement right now? Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. But yeah, there's all kinds of interesting stuff. I mean, that's the thing about Minecraft. Often when I play, I just usually start running around. I'll find a crazy looking thing like that. I'll cave dive and I'll use up all my resources. And then I have to... Ooh, a wolf. I could have tamed that wolf. Or that dog. Wait a minute. I've got a dog back in my base. Ooh, pumpkins. I'll take them. I'm not going to harvest. I've got a bunch sitting near my house on the ground uh, in the wild, but, you know, I do that because I'm going to be in that area anyway. So, you know, I'm not going to bother harvesting them. But these guys, I'll probably never see again, so I'll just take these few so I have some. I don't think I have any bones, do I? I got three bones. I could, har I could get him on the side if I wanted to, but if you recall, I... I don't like dogs to begin with, and I didn't like the dog I had, Pedro, who is still sitting in a cave somewhere, patiently waiting for me to return, I guess. He's probably going to be one angry-ass dog when I find him, or he's going to be dead, one or the other. Where is the spawns over that way. Alright, we're just running around here. Who knows what we'll find. Find some random pumpkins. That's how I used to hunt for pumpkins, you know, just randomly run around. Back when you couldn't plant them and grow them en masse. Maybe I'll build myself a pumpkin house sometime. That'd be kind of fun. This is a neat little reservoir here, just off of the uh, the beat or the ocean. I'm assuming it's ocean again. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a lot of water out there, man. That's a lot of water. And we're about to get into another nighttime fun run around here, aren't we? But so far, no signs of. Ooh, there's a cave. Hello, cave. Run, I said. Let's go look at the cave. That looks pretty dark and promising. Hey, Creeper! Hey, buddy. Creeper. Hey, bud. Come on. There you go. What else is down here? Ooh, a zombie. We're getting lots of enemies in here, at least. Let's go murder some more. Come on, get over here. Anything else? There's just a couple zombies appearing. That's what I was seeing. I know I'm not planting any torches. I'm just kind of seeing... Oh, hello! Did I come into your... Did you just blow up your own home? Apparently he blew up his own home. What a crazy thing to do. Oh, well, let's grab the iron. It's just another small little cave. Alright, I don't see any more iron there, so screw that. Oh, hello. Any more iron? Ooh, there's more. Yeah, I'm not exactly uh, in a mood to do a big cave diving. It's just fun now and then to see. Maybe we found one. I mean, with those zombies there, too, I was curious if uh, maybe there was a spawner in here. I doubt it because I didn't see any light from it. Because they do throw a bit of light, you know. All right, I've managed to turn it into nighttime, so uh, it should be interesting out here. But that moon being so bright, it won't really matter, will it? No, sir. All right, let's get back on the, the road. Is the sky kind of reddish, or is that just because the sun went down over there and it's just not faded yet? More pumpkins! A little more, little more dangerous to be harvesting at this time of night, though. Oh, well. Ah! You're going to get it, buddy. <laughs> I've got a sword that is just designed for destroying your life. Oh, I just want to harvest pumpkins, and you're being a jerk. Alright, I just want pumpkins. Let me eat, let me get my pumpkins, and I'll be on my way. Remember when I couldn't find pumpkins? Yeah, that, that was that was good times. Want a pumpkin so bad. Oh, crap. Let's just, uh, let's try out the bow. See that extra... No, okay, fine. 
The problem is the stupid laptop has a, has a touch pad and it occasionally screws me like that where it'll, my hand's too close and it'll rotate my weapon. That's not cool. It's not cool at all. Now I, ha I have heard that there's a potential for a red moon or like a zombie siege, but I think maybe you have to have, to have a... Uh, you actually have to have a uh, village for that to happen. Wait, did he just drop a shovel? I didn't know that they dropped tools. Huh. Oh, Enderman. Hey, buddy. Now, I've heard the way to beat these guys is just stare at their feet. And try to hit them. Oh, God, I'm getting doubled here. Get away. Oh, jerk. Oh, good, he dropped an Ender Pearl. That's a bonus. I was not expecting that spider to come up here and be a jerk. Alright, Creeper. You know, I'm pissed off. We're just going to fight everyone in the forest. Come on. No one likes you. Hey, they're actually running a bit more, like, almost like routes now. Like, they're football receivers or something. Get out there and run me a button hook. Go! Ah, uh, screw it. It's two, skele two skeletons. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, they I think they're fighting. Yep. Whoa, there's another one. Are you guys seriously having the worst duel fight at... <laughs> you got shot in the head. I think you're at a disadvantage now. He's got the he's got the height. Oh, he got a shot back. Oh, but you're in trouble, buddy. You've been hit three times since I got over here. Who's going to win this stirring fight? He got him back. It's a miss. Alright, sir, so though. Bing! <laughs> you guys want to see how to use bows properly? There you go. That, oh man, that was a terrible bout right there. The only time it's funnier is if they're in the water and they're rotating around one another in a circle. <laughs> it's the only time it's really funnier than that. That way they were just standing there and missing. That's funny, but when they're rotating, it makes it almost impossible to hit each other. That fight can last for like 10 minutes. Let us sit there shooting away at one another fruitlessly, not getting a land, landing a blow on the other one. No, Creeper, come back. I want your gunpowder. Oh, no, there's two of you. Well, who can't handle two Creepers? Come on. I'm right here, jerks. Oh, God, there's a lot of Creepers. Maybe I shouldn't have stirred the pot on this one. See, he's actually trying to run around the, the gap. Interesting. All right, fine, blow up. I don't care. I'll take the free sand. All right, get over here. No, no, I'm right here. You don't need to blow up. You didn't even give me gunpowder. You're an asshole. A lot of creepers in here. He got. Get over here. Come on. Just trying to remember if I missed any here. Don't blow up the nice trees. What'd they ever do to you? There we go. Some gunpowder. Fan freaking tastico. Where's that fourth one? I saw another one. Gotta be careful now, because as soon as you lose sight of them is when they start to try to hunt you. Ah, screw it. Oh, I should be able to lose him in the tree. Good lord, it's like a creeper forest here. It gives it gives new meaning to green... Is there a guy behind me, or is that just the one I killed starting to hiss? I guess it's just the one I killed began to hiss. I hate how they can still make noise after they're dead and, like, already evaporated. Alright, I heard a zombie. I guess I could have used my bow, but eh, the sword's just more fun to use. You get in there and mix it up with them. You could try doing some running and other stuff, but eh, not really my thing. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see where we're at. Where's Spawn is dead ahead, apparently. Right across the ocean? Seriously? Where's that coming from? Heard him. Oh, hello. Just, hello. Surprise skeleton right behind you. That's just weird, though. Surprise skeletons popping out of nowhere. Let's see. Spawn is that way. 
And they really are going to do this to me, huh? I'll swim across. Yeah, swimming's fun. Jeez, it looks crazy underneath. It'd be neat to have underwater structures to explore. Like out in the ocean or something. Like, not a stronghold per se, but like you could have like Atlantis or something. That would be something cool. It would give the oceans a reason to exist other than just take up massive amounts of space doing nothing. That would be pretty damn neat. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sure other people have suggested it before. I mean, you already got... The only, I guess the only thing is that strongholds can appear in the ocean biomes. It's going to make them a bit of a pain to find, I suppose. I wonder if these um, chunk airs are on the edge of the world that I, uh, from, I generated more recently. Because I started this one at 1.0, and then some of this has probably been generated at 1.25. I wonder if that's what's happening here. Or maybe the ocean just does an overpowering ride on uh, generating stuff because it's, so, it's supposed to be so massive. All right, let's just keep going. Keep moving. And after I get home, we'll figure out what I'm going to do next. I was thinking perhaps I would uh, gather... Oh, is this a... Am I in a jungle? I think I'm in a jungle. Yeah, I'm in a jungle. I've never been in a jungle. Check it out, y'all. Look at that. That is a massive tree. I've never actually seen a, ju uh, a jungle biome yet. So there we go. Neat. Look at the super trees you get in here. There's enough wood in those things to keep you... Uh, going for a long time if you want to go through the trouble of cutting the whole thing down and it's also useful for uh, for the future if I want to use uh, planks that, that have the that color of the wood color because the planks now give different colors of wood they no longer just give that same generic brown uh, planking regardless of the tree type man it's like almost impossible to navigate through here look at this it's gonna make your way across the top of the trees pretty much that's just the lower trees never mind the the mammoth jamis up top. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I could have found some cocoa beans if I went looking. Uh, do those exist in 1.25 or is that 1.3? That might be 1.3 cocoa beans are coming in where they grow on the trees in, in the swamp biomes. So you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to actually uh, what's the word? You'll be able to grow cocoa beans meaning you can finally have a steady support of Supports support of brown dye, or source source. That's the word. Jesus, you have a steady source, and you'll be able to. Uh, you'll finally be able to dye as many brown as you want, I guess. And that is a pretty big structure. Wow, look at this. This is kind of crazy. A bit of like an inland sea almost. Look at that. Look at that crazy boxy mountainous thing. It already has a stream of water going from up to the top of it. Maybe not all the way up, though. I wonder. This is pretty cool. Alright, let's just get on top of a lily pad for a second. And it's over that way, is it? Am I close to... Sp spawns like that way. Okay, so after I get to this mountain and check out where that is, I'll head right and we'll head back to my, my home base. And figure out what we're going to do. Um, I'm, there's a creeper. Hey, creeper. What are you doing, buddy? Just playing on that island? Having a good time? Man, these are some crazy mountains in here. Huh. Nuts. Alright, no, you, I don't think it comes right from the top, eh? No, it doesn't. That's too bad. I'd have to get up there and do some fedangling to, to get on top there. But it would be a nice little mountain retreat to have. Well, my phone just lost its damn mind there, ringing like crazy, but that's okay. All right. Digging while swimming is not an easy thing to do. Also, when you're swimming, your tools don't work as well, or as effectively, I should say, as fast. Are those Endermen up there? Did I just see two Endermen up on a hill? It's the middle of the day, guys. What are you doing outside, if so? No, I didn't. I saw. Oh, I see. I saw the ridiculous shading over here. Well, that just looks ten kinds of messed up. Thanks, game. Where is the spawn? Straight ahead. Well, let's just keep going. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of a, a project to do before I start exploring in earnest here for the, the the stronghold. I'm not quite. Hey, pumpkins. 
I'm not quite uh, ready to uh, go out of my way and do the whole uh, stronghold just yet. I haven't really found a good uh, mine shaft to play in either, but you know, live and learn. I mean, I did find one, but I'm not going back there because mean things happen and I don't want to deal with that. And considering how um, caves are normally pretty generous, most of the caves in this world seem to be shallow little things that don't give up anything. It's kind of sad, really. Anyway, we'll get back home and I'll figure it out after that. And, uh, wow, look at this. This is like a river canyon? River canyon? Uh, just a canyon, I guess. Neat. Yeah, see, this is more of a... This is exactly a canyon, though. I guess rivers are technically a biome feature now, too, although I don't see many rivers when I play. Which is totally ridiculous. Whoa. I'll make that jump. We're really high up here now, aren't we? <laughs> kind of going over the mountain rather than through the valley, which is probably be the easier way to do it. Hello, snow. And hey, there's home. I see home. It's down there. <laughs> Where that arrow went. <laughs> well, let's get ourselves down this hill. I think I would have recognized the river uh, valley sort of stuff because that is where I uh, went over. I went over this sort of this way to get my uh, my animals, as you recall. And the area of cave I've never explored. And there's a skeleton. Screw you, skeleton! I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with your bullcrap. Let's go visit my old friends over here. See if my arrow hit anybody. Anyone dead? See a few eggs. Oh yeah, I planted that and then I never hung around for it to really uh, get any bigger or better. Hey, wait, is that a pig outside? What are you doing outside? You can't be. Whoa. I don't think my arrow hit anybody. Oh well. Anyway, back at home. Original home. Although really, comparing it to where I live now, this this literally is just a hole in the wall. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my pretty planted trees, just there for my enjoyment and my amusement. And the spot I've never even put glass in because I'm too lazy. Awesome. Anyway, guys, join me next time, and I will be doing something around the old homestead. And we'll figure out what that is, maybe from the comments. Hey, see you guys next time.